And so, Mario came to learn the stupendous ability of flipping between dimensions. But there was no time to celebrate. Mario still had a pure heart to find. The trail ahead was overrun with savage beasts, vile creatures, and terrors beyond comprehension. Follow me, Tippy said, as she flew towards the mountains that loomed onward. The pure heart was hidden somewhere on the other side. Chapter 1-2 A Foot in the Foothills Welcome back, one and all, to Thionite Plays Super Paper Mario. I feel that the pure heart is beyond this mountain, but it's still far, far away. Something tells me you'll need to put that new skill of yours to use. I will absolutely do that, Tippy, after I make you look at the world. On the last episode, we got the ability to flip between dimensions. It's now 3D and we can do magic. We can do magic. Look at this. Magic. That's magical and we're magical. Hello, Koopa. I'm going to banish you. Oh, wow. Bounce on all of the turtles. That's great. On this episode of Super Paper Mario, we are continuing on in World 1-2 and we see line art of rectangles in the sky. That's incredible. Truly incredible. I can jump. I can fly. Is there... Oh, there's something behind... How do I get behind here? There's something behind... I want to get behind... How do I... There's a path. There's a secret path. Go away. I need to... How... There's a secret path behind these mountains, and I have an immense desire to figure out how to get over there. Stop doing this. Don't stay flipped too long or you'll lose HP. Yeah, thanks, Tippy. I apologize for making you do that. Whenever I hit the control stick, because I can... How do I... Oh. The rectangles are taking me across the sky. We're flying in the lion art. I suppose in a game made of paper that tracks. How do I... Can I jump off the edge of the cliff? How do I... There's a switch. There's a switch. Hit the switch. I don't have a hammer in this game. How do I get to that secret path? I'm so curious on how to get to that secret path. Look at those mountains. By the power of switches. This is not the first time we've seen switches that can alter the geometry of existence. Yes, I know. I'm gonna run out of... thing. How do I... I need to get to that secret path. I don't know how to get to the secret path. Ah, uh, no. I'm a bit of a... I'm a bit of a idiot when it comes to stuff. How do I... But, like, seriously, though, how do I get over... Oh, there it is. I just needed to not go that far. But, yeah. If you do go into three dimensions for too long, you will just uh, lose a bit of health. But that's fine. Treasure! I want treasure. An immense amount of treasure. <gasps> a playing card. Oh, my God, Paratroopa. That's awesome. And a door. Where does the secret door lead us, you may be asking? We will find out right now. It leads us to uh, a place... Line stairs. Oh, man. Does anyone else remember in the old Paper Mario... Not Paper Mario. The old Mario games where they'd have, like, the green piranha plants? Instead of just staircases, they would have green piranhas. Oh, man. Those are the good old days. Why does that come off? Stop doing that. Whoa! That was a big dude. That was... That was a... That was a... Big, that was a... It's raining thwomps. I don't think these are thwomps. I kind of want to... I kind of want to hit one. Come down. Come down, giant thwomp. Oh, whoops. I thought, I thought, oh, I missed, I missed my chance. Uh, that's fine. I wanted to hug one. They look so soft and cuddly. The spikes of those giant circular thwomps, believe it or not, are not actually made of spikes. They're actually made of paper mache, and that makes them both incredibly sharp in, unless you get, like, paper cuts. I'm allergic to paper cuts, so I don't blame you for trying to avoid these guys, but... If you're not allergic to paper cuts, just, like, look at them. They're so cuddly. I wonder if I can do this in two dimensions. Because I think a lot of people would say that it's impossible, but, like, I don't believe that's the case. I bet. Yeah, <laughs> whoever said you needed to do that in three dimension clearly has never had fun trying to hug a something made of paper. I've hugged a lot of things made of paper, mainly the only passing grades I've ever gotten in college, and high school, and grade school, and all the way down to pre-K, if I'm being honest. Hmm. I've hugged a lot of paper in my life. 
Tippy, why are you still staying behind me? All I desire, all I want you to do is look at me in the eyes. Oh, that, oh, that poor thing. The bridge is out. What does this say? Whoever would make an alphabet that includes a star, a flower, and a mushroom? What kind of letter symbol does mushroom mean? Bridge closed, read the bridge master. What part of bridge closed, read the bridge master would ever imply like the, 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 the lettering, the alpha numerics. There's no numerics in this alpha numeric, but like flower, what word corresponds with flower, mushroom, and star? What kind of Paper Mario cipher is this? We need to talk. And since there's only one house in the world, can I, I can't go on the house. Why can I not go on this man's house? I just need to clean out the gutters and change his shingles. There's invisible sweat. The bed is sweating. Either that or the house is having some kind of episode. She's having one of her episodes. Can I just flip the switch without talking to the dude? Can I just do this? It won't budge. Well, why not? I'm red. The hat is red. Ah, so weak. Fine. Hello, you're my discounted cousin. It's like we have Mario at home versus the Mario at like the Piccadillys. Hey, 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 you can see me. Whoa, this is unbelievable. I've been freaking out here for days and finally someone sees me. Yeah, I just have one resounding question. How on earth are you alive? Because like, I am the savior of the cosmos, Mario Jumpman Mario, savior of toadstools as well as peaches. I have a peach tree garden. This is an, it's the peach tree of wisdom. And even I, if I stay too long in the third dimension, contemplating these existential questions, my health drains rapidly. And if I could eventually die from staying in the third dimension too long, how is it possible for you to exist in the third dimension? It, 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 it boggles the mind. If you've been in here for days, I wouldn't be able to handle an hour. I don't think I'd be able to handle half an hour in the third dimension. I think Red is an insanely powerful cosmic being. Maybe that's why only he can pull the switch, because he's an insanely powerful cosmic being. A couple of mornings ago, I roll out of the wrong side of bed. Wow. Imagine stumbling onto the power to go into a higher dimension just by falling off the bed on the wrong side. That's, that's crazy. And once I got my coffee, I realized I'm stuck in some freaky parallel dimension. It, is, it, it would be, it, I don't think, I think it would be more accurate to say it's a perpendicular dimension, because if it was a parallel dimension, it would just be another version of a two-dimensional dimension, but if it was a parallel dimension, because, you know, like, left and right is one dimension, but back and forth, that would be the second dimension, because it's, that would add, that would add, like, an X and Y coordinate, because it's, it's perpendicular, it's like the coordinate, it's like X, Y coordinate plane, it's, it's perpendicular, not, not parallel, it, He's not the smartest of omniscient higher dimensional beings, is he? I've been hollering and flailing for days, but no one could hear me. No one can see me, and I can't eat. There's no three-dimensional food. I tried to eat one of my leftover chicken wings, and I nearly cut my tongue off because it was flat. Have you ever tried to eat flat chicken wings? It's like flat soda, but ten times worse. Just when I was starting to think I'd be here forever. Pop into you, existence, yes? That's how language works. You just blipped in here out of thin air. I mean, if you were in... If you were in a three-dimensional world, and then a two-dimensional being, you'd still be able to see a two-dimensional being, because to you, they would just be, you know, paper thin. They wouldn't be able to go along two different axes, axes, but you, you would be able to... I didn't just pop into existence. I... I moving on... I was thinking, if you can do that, maybe I can hitch a ride back with you. Um, no, I don't have a, I don't have a trailer hitch. Not, not, these are, these are not those kind of work overalls. Uh, these are, these are the exploration overalls. Uh, don't get confused. I'll put the other hitch compatible overalls on later. Just stand next to me and flip back to two dimensions. I'll hold on. With what arms? How, you don't have arms to do this. All right, fine. Fine, fine. Did you do it? How did you do that? I didn't take you with you. You did that all on your own. We did it. I'm back to normal. Listen, you really bailed me out of there. That 3D business was freaking me the heck out. The name's Red. 
Nice to meet you. Red Foreman, I'm going to shove your boot so far up your rear end that you'll be choking on the soles and the chewed up bubblegum you stepped on outside. Say, uh, any way I could repay you, you could lower the drawbridge. I kind of need to get across the bridge. Actually, there is one thing. There's a huge chasm outside, and we need to cross that chasm. And I don't have a life shroom to perform an extremely difficult to do speedrunning skip. So you want to cross the chasm, huh? Well, you found yourself the right guy there, guy. But hey, I got to warn you, and you got to listen to me on this, because this warning is extremely important. You, th you know this place is called impasse pass right that that's that's like saying the pass is impassable because it, it's literally in the name impasse pass i'm only allowed to let a choice few cross the bridge I, yeah it's literally in the job description i have i i have some kind of um it's an nda if if they ever found out that i was doing it they would really tear apart my mustache they would turn it into a scraggly mess it would be it would be awful it would be terrible no good awful i mean if i were to ever show up in town because just past the bridge there's a town if i were to ever show up in town with a scraggly mustache i do not know if they would even recognize me and if I, if they wouldn't recognize me i have no idea if they would be able to in any way shape or form sell me food i i think Maybe they're trying to trick me with the chicken wings. They sold me two-dimensional chicken wings. I need to get a new hair care product for my... Anyway, sorry, I, that's internal distractions. There's just... Yeah, well, you did save me from being trapped. Yes, yes, there, there, there was that. Can you just lower the bridge, please? I don't really care about your mustache. Sounds good, here we go. What's the most manly color in the entire universe? Red or green? Oh god, it's red. It's absolutely red, because I'm red, the bed is red, you're red, the switch is red. Everything is red red. It's red. Oh, you are so right. That is such a great opinion there, friend. I've run into a lot of people with a lot of opinions, and so many. A startling amount of people have wrong, incorrect opinions. But you, you have a good opinion. I knew it. You and me, we see eye to eye on fashion. Hell yeah, our mustaches are incredible. Yours is a bit blockier. It is a bit scruffy and scraggy in the morning. You might want to, you might, you might want to, you might want to get that new razor. Sorry, that would have been a perfect way to like seamlessly blend into a transition of an advert, but I don't have any of those, so I, I can't do I can't do a not sponsored Manscape ad. I'll throw the bridge down. Hang on a second. Stop referencing things that don't exist in this reality. The bridge, the bridge. Wow, it's so nice. It's made of wood struts and triangles. All right, you should be good to go. Take her easy. I will indeed, my good sir. Thank you so much for the service you've provided. Are there any secrets in your house? Why do you have a frame? Why do you have a framed picture of an apple? That's disconcerting. Why do you have two framed pictures of the apple? It's like I realize if you're like, you know, like some kind of artsy paintings. There's that one painting of like a, the apples. But like, why would you have two copies of this? I'm not going to question your stylist. It's probably because they're red. I'm not going to question your stylistic choices. Bridge. Bridge. A safe state. The town. Oh my god, I'll finally be able to get in my own things of chicken nuggets. Let's go to the store. To the store? What does the store have to sell? Hello, store. I would like... Oh, good day. Uh... Thanks. You gonna give me any? Can I have some gossip or some flat chicken wings? How's it going? How you good? I see you found my fine shop tier here in Yold Town. First time here, eh? Yeah, first time indeed. I gotta tell you, we offer shop points here for our regular customers, and we offer secret shop points if you catch my drift for the super special secret customers. You earn shop points with every purchase. Limit is one point per every purchase, though. So if you want to buy a dozen bananas, you're going to have to buy them individually. It'll make your receipt ten times as long, but you do get more coupons. 
Like, you, you go to your local Piccadilly's and you'll be like, I want 10 bananas. And they'll look at you weird because who orders 10 bananas? The, you Normally, the bundle of bananas, they come in like six bananas. But then the, the, you like 10, so you tear one off the, the bushel of bananas and you scan that one banana. And then you tear off the second one and you get scanned to the second banana. And then you tear off the third one. You scan the third one. And by the end of this entire process, it's like you take the 10th banana and you scan it across the, the barcode. And then you're like, your, your receipt is like 10 miles long, but you have... 1,400 coupons for used bleach. Don't ask where they get the recycled. Anyway, that that's that's how the secret points work. If you want to know how many you have, you could just ask me. Got that? Or do you want to hear it again? No, I got it. Please, I I don't need. I, can I pick things up? I you don't have. Oh, you you tip you you tip your hat to me. I can. This is the closest I can come to tipping my hat. Can we just can we just have a stare off? Where we tip our hat to each other over and over and over and over and over again. Why are you just staring at me? Do you have something against my dance? I think... I think you just have a thing against my type of hat. Because you've got the blocky, brimmed hat. I've got the round cap. You have a block hat. I have a round cap. I'm going to go. I'm going to give my business to someone else. I much prefer giving bit my my hard-earned earned, earned coins to local businesses, but not your local business. Like, look at this dude. This dude has, like, a bisected hairstyle. It's just, like, is that one strip that's just wrapped around? Or is it just, like, two triangles? The world may never know. Can we have a chat? What do you have to say? Hey there, stranger. Where'd you blow in from? Oh, the mountain's back east. I'm looking for uh, a stranger. Might have a big iron on his hip. Are we in Agua Fria? Probably not. I've come a long way. I have come a long way. And I'm going to sound weird if I'm wrong here, but... Are you the legendary hero? Are you here for Texas Red? Oh, you are? Oh my god, thank you. That man's a tyrant. He came in one town, blew open the bicycle shop, and stole all of the tires. He didn't even steal the bicycle frames, he just stole the tires. What would an outlaw bandit brigand, brigand like him need tires for? What is he building? I really hope you can go and track him down. If I'm in trouble, oh, you want, I'm giving you advice now. Sorry, this is a non sequitur. Here's some advice. If you're in trouble, flip. If there's something suspicious, flip. Three, if you're feeling saucy, do a flip. And there you go. Now you know. Well, thank, that, if I ever come into contact with Texas Red, I will flip. I'll do a backflip. I don't, I, I'm technically more rotund. My torso is bigger than my head without the hat. If you took my hat off, my torso would be bigger than my head. And if I tried to do a flip, I think I would crack my non-existent neck. Because Mario doesn't have a neck. What's in the block? Block. Box. If you combine the words block and blocks, or box and block, you get an amalgamation of words that I've already forgotten how to say because my brain doesn't work. Let's go in this house. Oh, you have a purple triangular haircut. Hi. Thousands of years ago, a super advanced civilization lived in this area. Oh, you're one of those people. One of those. Nah, thanks. That's fantastic. We call them the Tribe of Ancients. I guess they built this town, too. The mayor says there are secret tunnels, secret tunnels beneath the town that lead to super secret, secret institutions. We think there are institutions down underneath the town because we hear strange boops, beeps, and so occasionally, sometimes, some explosions as well. So there's something below the town. So if, if you're curious, look around real close. You never know when there's a secret around the corner. I'm going to flip. Wow, your table is in three dimensions. How? Why do you have such large chairs? Those chairs are larger than we both are tall. Like, I, I have chairs in my life. I'm not taller than the chairs. I mean, like, there, if I crouch down, well, now it makes sense, because now I'm hiding behind it. You have a you have a three-dimensional table. You, your, your cutlery is in three dimensions. That's kind of insane. You have actual collision on your cups. You must be one of the most rich people in the world to have collision on your cups. That's crazy. Super crazy. Can we, can we leave? I I don't want to I don't want to mess up with that dude's fine china and then get you know find out my rear end for all the money I have. I just heard this juicy rumor. Apparently, there's a hero known as a secret dimensional hopping technique. 
Yeah, he uses to flip to other dimensions and find loads of interesting things. These blocks on my right might not look my... My... Why are you staring at... Don't... Stop... Your eyebrows... The blocks may not look like much, but if I were the hero, I might find some secret stuff behind them. And when you see coins, you can use your technique to, like, make more of them. I'm sorry, are you are you trying to peddle a get-rich-quick scheme? If you're trying to indoctrinate me into either a Ponzi or a pyramid, or a very rare hybrid pyramidzy scheme, I'm going to have to say no. I'm already doing money laundering with Princess Peach. It's It's like art money laundering. Woo, Tippy works. Tippy is going crazy. But we don't need to worry about Tippy. We went in this house. Where did the block go? Oh, it blended in with the towels. <gasps> there's a secret pipe. Oh, wow, there's water. Why? How are you? Why would you have the clothes basket in the third dimension? Wasn't the entire point red setting up the fact that we can't go into alternate dimensions easily? Is there anything over here for us? Can I have those coconuts? I remember in past games where I could get a coconut, and I'm like, I really want a coconut. I got a boomboxer card. Would you love me if the stereo was on repeat? What was that old song? There's like something about a stereo. I don't want to come in here yet. This is an empty room. We'll make sure it's not an empty room later. I just want to waste more time by exploring these houses. <gasps> old man! Oh man, you have a rug on your wall. Old man, I know we're in a two-dimensional world, but if you want to have a rug, maybe not put it on the wall. I can flip between dimensions. I can't alter gravity. I can't walk on the walls. I can walk on floors and occasionally ceilings, but we don't talk about that. Who's it? I'm the elder around here, so watch it. What do you want? Get off my rug. It's on the wall. We literally just covered it. You don't have a rug. Well, actually, we were hoping to pass through the town. Nothing but desert past here. There's treasure, sure, but you'll get grit in your grunders. And you, you, Lord knows you don't want to get grit in your grunders, because they will never want... This, this is special desert grit, and if you get grit in your grunders, you're... Oh, oh God, good God, we don't have enough water in the world to save you from that. It's a fate I wouldn't wish upon anyone. That's what here is for. That's what this... That... That's what here is for. You old town. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm old. I'm... I'm 90% mustache. All my brain cells have gone into my mustache over the years, and I, I don't have it. I don't have any more brain cells in my head. There's a reason why the youngsters have a bifurcated hairline. It keeps their brain cells from flowing into their mustaches. So yeah, no treasure for you. Can't let you pass. See this little guy in my pocket? He's got something to tell you. It's my pet bird. Bird. Know what he says? Watch it. Put that finger down. Gear it up. No, I'm the legendary hero. Yeah, I'm allowed. I, the cosmos has decreed that I am allowed to pass. Was it? Was that? You're the hero. Dumplings. What, is that for dinner? I mean, I'm a fan of dumplings. I, I, there's a nice local dumpling place back behind Peach's Castle. She kind of just keeps it open for tax purposes. But, like, they make some shockingly good dumplings. Like, I have no idea where they get the ingredients. They're not allowed to have ingredients shipped to their little restaurant. I don't know where they're getting the eggs or the mushrooms or the pastry or the water, the oil, or the butter. It's a miracle that they operate, but like they're they're making it work. Yeah, they're, they're great dumplings. If I were you, you'd have a pixel that's shaped like a bomb hand. Now, I might believe you were the hero if you had one of those, but you don't. Well, I, I, have a, I have a literal flying rainbow bird. This is my RGB butterfly tippy. She is like the envoy of fate and history. Destiny, one might say. See this beard here? This has got something to tell you. You know what it says? Watch it. This is where my bird, bird sleeps. Put that finger down, bird. He's got the message. You have three dimensional tables and chairs. And you don't have a rug. We were standing on something that wasn't a rug. You're an idiot. Fine, I need to go explore and get a magic hand pixel. Say la vie. We'll make good do. Oh, hi, another person. You're very small. Without my hat, I would be half your height. Can we have a chat? Stop, stop. We need to have a chat. Hey, did you hear? There's talk of renaming Yold Town to Heroesburg. Oh, wow, you don't have to name the town after me. It's all because of this legend that the heroes will visit this town after saving the world. Where is Reftalia when you need her? 
The heroes are coming here. Can you believe it? Oh, maybe we should put up a sign. Oh, man, I would love a sign. I just need a sign with a giant mustache. We can put it in the middle of town. We can get rid of the bicycle shop's ruins because now that they don't have any tires, it's pointless as a bicycle shop because you don't see bicycle frame shops. We can tear down the bike shop. We can replace it with a giant sign of my head and the mustache will be made of real mustache hair. Oh, it's a great, this is the. This is why Peach has made me her city planner. There's the bridge. Can I go across the bridge? We just need to get across the bridge. Let me across the bridge, please, I beg of you. No crossing. Green. Bridge overseer. Fine. Fine. Actually, maybe maybe we can just go over the mayor's head and we can just talk to Mr. Green. And it'll be great. We just go immediately to the man in charge. Bribe him. And then if that doesn't work, we can threaten him. You have green apples. Uh, it pains me to be in this green house. You remind me of my brother. Can I just flip the switch myself? It won't budge. Oh, God. Are you another cosmic entity? God, something tells me this conversation won't go as planned. Hey, you Mr. Red Shirt. You want me to flip the bridge down for you? Yeah, you can't do that. Nope. Sorry. You're gonna need special permission from high up. That's the law. No way am I doing a hard time. You need the okay from old man watch it. Good luck with that. That old timer is more crab than man. Oh, God. The carcinogen... Car... car Carcinogen. It's not a carcinogen. Although crab might be a carcinogen because everything is related to carcinogens these days. But like everything, everything evolves to crab. Oh, he's so old that he's already evolving into a crab. I need to get this going quickly or else by the time we talk to him next time, he'll just be a crab. This is not good. This is not good. No, it isn't. We need to go. Fine. Wh which pipe? Uh, You said there was a Ponzi scheme in this direction. No, what? No, stop, stop, stop trying to indoctrinate me into your Ponzi scheme. Fine, I'll go down your Ponzi pipe. Clean out your Ponzi pipes. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is the Ponzi scheme. Can I get rich quick by turning money into more money? I can, by turning a 16 into 30, 42. I can't math. Please don't expect the poor pig to do math. It doesn't work. Is there anything else in here? This was your entire Ponzi scheme, just tricking me? I have clipped into a pipe. I am a speedrunner. If you clip into geometry, your three-dimensional thing still runs out. Anyway, thanks for your money. I turned, like, four coins into, like, 16 coins, or some kind of fixed ratio like that. Man, they really did such a terrible job to this poor bike shop. Nothing but bike frames. That, that's that's what those yellow lines are. They're bike frames. They have... If you've ever seen a bike frame with, like, a square... Can I just... Ow. 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 I brute force all of my problems with no thought to an easier solution. If something doesn't work my way, it's not going to work at all. Magical door. It's a magical door. It leads me to a magical floor. Look at this floor. These tiles are bigger than I am tall. Very strange. Why would you make tiles like that? Tippy, reveal the door. It's a hidden door. Now we should be able to get somewhere. It's a hidden door and a hidden floor and a hidden room. Let's let let's go into the door. Into the door we go. Oh. They've trapped me down here. This is the this is the institution of the ancient ones. They're here to trap us and turn us into crabs. Now we're locked inside. Oh no. Can can we just if we could just flip into a higher dimension, we could just squeeze out. It's not like the bars prevent us from leaving. We literally, we, uh, fine, fine. I'll open the very conspicuously placed box. Sweet freedom! Hallelujah, I'm finally out of this box. Look at me. I have so many circles floating above me. I love my circles. Hold on. Wait a moment. If I've been set free... And the only one who could have done that is the legendary hero. Oh my god, you like my circles? I'm a square, I have circles. As well as a tail. That's actually an elongated cloaca. Don't ask me where it leads or what it does. That's not for you to know. I expressed concern when the ancients stuffed me in that chest 1500 years ago. What have you been eating for 1500 years? How have you been drinking? Is that a perforated chest to allow you air? You're in a stagnant room with a magic door. Why did they seal you away? Are you some kind of criminal? Are you Texas Red? It seems my fears were quite unfounded. The hero has finally arrived. Oh my god. 
They sealed me in this box because I I, I mysteriously got my hand. I, I'm shaped like a hand, but I got myself a gun. Don't ask me where I got the gun, but they sealed me in a box because they feared my power. Are you a pixel? Oh, I, I absolutely am a pixel. I'm not some kind of brigand from the south. I'm not I'm not a terrible person. I don't know why they call me Texas Rich. Just because my name starts with a T does not mean it gets confused. And just because there's an E and an A in there, I mean, it's like half of the word Texas. And the U kind of looks like an X. They probably got, it's like pixel throw. There's probably enough in those words to make the word Texas. And then there's also probably enough letters to make the word red if you squint hard enough. Anyway, sorry, I, I got rid of the gun. I had to eat the iron atoms one at a time for 1,500 years to survive. Pixels can survive on remarkably little amounts of iron. Are you a pixel as well? No, what gave it away? I'm just an RGB butterfly. I'm not a pixel. I don't have any special powers. You don't look familiar. Are you a newer model? Are these robots? Oh my god, the pixels are robots. They're magic constructs of the ancients. Can we get upgrades? I want bionic pixels. I want- uh, we can make them better. Stronger. Faster. We have the technology. We can make these all RGB pixels. Doesn't matter. No details. We don't care. I am bored. Oh, you and all of the other people watching this video. What is important is the fact that I have waited ages, ages, 1500 years of nothing but staring at the iron atoms of a gun. Lend my skills to the hero. I can finally lend you my hero skills. You're the hero. My skills to you. Glorious day. Here you are. Take me with you. Please take me with you. You must take me with you. You will then? Oh, smashing. Smashing, old bean. I will bathe you in my pixie dust. The throwing pixel throw has joined the party. Use him to pick things up and put things down and throw things at other things, enemies, as well as inanimate objects. You can even throw while you jump. That's the tagline for our newest pixel power. Throw while you jump. Buy now while supplies last. Limited stock, $19.99 for an additional payment of $9.99.99. You too can own the throwing power of throw. Call now at this 1-800 toll-free number. With me at your side, one may grasp objects with great vigor and impunity. Fear not the power, because my all-powerful hand will be able to pick up anything. Simply press the one button to use my throwing ability. What, what, what do you mean you don't know what a one is? How do you... You claim to be the legendary hero, but you don't know what the one button is? How do you not know what the one button is? That was common knowledge to all of the ancients. You're an imposter, aren't you? Oh god, oh god, you're an imposter, you're an imposter, oh my god, oh god, I've I've shackled myself, I gave him my pixie dust, god damn it, I've already given him the pixie dust, he has the power, uh, god, I've shackled myself to a fake, fine, don't worry, uh, the beings that watch us will know what it is, fine, ugh, remember, I pick things up and put them down, you throw the things, okay, uh, go box how do how 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 box tippy is why can't i stand on this cage boop i have pressed the ceiling switch those ceiling switches unlike their floor bound cousins are remarkably fragile and remarkably sensitive a firm breeze will set them off. That's the reason why we're in a closed room with no air, because, you know, if 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 Tippy is talking right now and my brain doesn't work, glorious day! Consider me fully at your disposal. If you've gotten us out of here, I can eventually leave my Is there anything else in here? This is a cube. A cube of three dimensions. I am inside of a cube. Let's leave. Let's go bribe that old man who's turning into a turtle or crab or something. Because now that we have the hand pixel, we should be good. We should be good. Ow. 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 Perfect. Let us leave. They go good, good in soups. Let us leave. Flip, I say. Flip out of the door. We have freed Texas Red, and now that we have an immense amount of supply of tires for our bicycles, we can move at the speed of sound. Old man, watch it. I need you to give me bridge access. 
Look, I can go in three dimensions. And I can throw people. Wait, I can I can hit people? Yo, can I pick? I, I want to pick you. I, I need This is how I pick up chicks, but the chicks are old mustachioed men. Because Mario has a type. Look, I have the pixel. If you had that pixel, I might believe you're the hero. Was it? You do? Of course you do. You're the hero. I knew it all along. Watch it. Watch what? The game? You a fan of the game? Oh, man. You just become more and more my type every second we talk. I'll give you that green fellow a call. He'll let you cross the bridge. You like my old Nokia? It's an, it's a Nokia 3900. It's one of the newest models. It's got a touchscreen and everything. It's a rather incredible piece of technology. I use it to call my granddaughter every now and then. It's nice to catch up with the grandkids. It's, it's, it's a really nice piece. It's like normally when they unveiled the internet and the telephone and the gramophone, I, I was a bit against it. It was like, this is newfangled technology. We don't we don't need this in our lives. This is, this is just going to be another avenue for the kids, the youngsters, to just stay indoors and do nothing but watch the game every now and then. But when the television came out, it really changed my mind. And then I bought this Nokia 3900 for $19.99 plus shipping and handling. It was a great deal. I got it off sale. Half off. I highly suggest you yourself get a Nokia 3900. Anyway, green, it's me. Watch it. Thanks for picking up after... By rambling. I said, watch it. Watch it. I said, watch it. I said, watch it. Not botch it. Don't watch it. What do you mean my watch is broken? It, it, it's an okay. It's connected to the World Wide Web. The, the time updates. My my watch. What do you mean I'm calling it four in the morning? It's bright and sunny out. Sir, we're in a desert. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Anyway, just shut up about the watches in the desert. I got a, I got this red dude. He's a red dude and he wants to cross the bridge. So you better allow him to cross the bridge or you're going to have to sleep with one eye open and watch your back. Let's just keep this between us. It's just let the mustache guy through. I'll pay you off later. Just don't. Yeah, just get off my rug and go talk to Green at the edge of town and watch it. Looks like I could finally retire because my job is done. I, I'm I'm sorry. Your, 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 your job was to call a dude... Was this your final act as mayor? Oh god, he's gonna United States of smash his phone straight into the earth and cause a crater that engulfs the earth. When you're in that desert, keep a watchful eye out for some ruins. The treasure's there. Nasty beasts, too. So, watch it. Thank you, old man. Watch it. One final jump and one final grab. I really... Can I grab that child? That... That... Don't take that out of con... I'm using Thoreau, Texas Red, to... I can't grab anyone. These are sentient creatures. I thought I would be able to do this, but I cannot. I can't even pick up chicks with this power. She is bisected. Like, I don't know if that's just like her showing off her midriff or if she's just like two sentient beings. It's like her bottom half, one creature, and her top half is just like a levitating other creature. What are you? Why are you all bisected? How have I never noticed what kind of abominations are you? Green, I need to get out of this town. I need to get out of this town immediately. Green, you must let me go. You need, you need to, you need to, let me leave. Let me leave this accursed town. Let me leave. Please, you got the call, right? You got to yeah. I got a call from old man, watch it. So you're that hero guy then, huh? Right on, I'll put that bridge across for you straight away. Thank you. Oh, God, finally. I can get out of this nightmare head and headache inducing house oh wow it's a skyline bridge wow i love these bridges it's a rope bridge made of ropes and steel hey now that uh business is out of the way how about a bit of pleasure got a question for you what's uh the better color green or red well obviously it's red do you not see who i am i am mario jumpman mario red master of the world it's red obviously red Red? Get the hell out of this house with your ugly red cat. Get out of my house. Return and never come back. Wow, he's so powerful. He just kicked me out of the chimney. He just kicked me out of a chimney. How do you kick me so powerfully that you 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 punt me from the the background into the foreground through a chimney? Santa wishes he had that much power. Like, he, he literally just, I am, I, I am up to my nose in concrete right now. That's like, man, green is insanely powerful. Can I, child, um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. Uh, kid, can you help me out? Pull me out of the ground, please. I need, I need some help. 
please, I know I tried to, I know I tried to pick you up before, but right now you need to return the favor and pick me up. Please don't turn your back on me. Kid, kid, please, please, kid, come back. Come, uh, fine, I'll do it myself. Thanks for that, kid. What, what does Tibby have to say about the kid? That's Bozo. He is a Bozo. Oh, God, he is a Bozo. He's a Bozo. He's a local village boy who's full of energy and idiocy. He's curious and often finds himself in all sorts of strange mishaps. Unlike pulling a mustachioed plumber out of the earth. He's Watchit's grandson, so maybe he'll be the mayor one day as well. Oh, God, I pray for the town. I pray for the town if that's what happens. Look at this bridge. Masterfully crafted. It's even got nice lamp posts. It's got the wires. It's a nice suspension bridge. There's 55 above the suspension bridge. This suspension bridge has 55 lives. What happens if I go across it? Oh, it doesn't exist. The bridge does not exist. That's how they that's how could they could afford so many bicycles. They don't have an entirely set up bridge. Wow, they they really they cut so many corners on this bridge. Like it, it's just literally up a cardboard cutout that they stuck on the the fabric of exist. How did they how did you do that? Doesn't matter. I suppose ultimately it does not matter. Are there any secrets? There are no secrets. Why are there no secrets? Fine. Fine, hit the star. End of chapter. Absolutely incredible. The amount of progress we made is insane. Do you want to save that progress? I absolutely, positively do. Don't turn off the power. Your progress has been saved. Next time. With a bold quiver of his magnificent mustache, Mario let loose a hearty sneeze. A single grain of sand had flown along the warm wind and tickled the hero's nose. It wasn't long before Mario and Tippy found the source of the sand, the Yold Desert. Along the endless, sun-baked expanse, Mario and Tippy continued their search. In Chapter 1-3, The Sands of Yold. Did an old man watch it say something about there being ruins? I'm sure we'll find them eventually. We will find them in the next episode. Thank you so much, one and all, for being here for another episode of Super Paper Mario where we do things extremely slowly. But it looks good while we do things slowly. So, whether you watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another episode of The Night Plays a Super Paper Mario. Next time, I will see you for more Super Paper Mario. Later.